What's going on, smart people? You read the title. What does it mean? Do I already have such a mastery of quantum field theory that they are asking me to give lectures on it? No. I know that I am level 12 tensor boy, but I'm only level 7 quantum field theorist at this point in time. That's not the case. What it is, is for this course, there's only two main sources of grades. There is our homework, and then in lieu of a final exam, because I guess my professor's convinced, what, what non-trivial thing could you ask in quantum field theory that someone could solve in less than an hour and a half? I don't know, that's what I'm taking from it. But in, instead of having a final exam, another way that we're getting graded on the course is the students actually have to give lectures in the course. And I'm not talking, this is, this is what I learned today after our professor already lectured to us. No, out of the material that we are responsible for learning this semester, not all of it is going to be taught by our professor. Part of the grade is dividing up sections that us, the students, are going to have to read up on and try to understand as best we can and then give the lecture instead of our professor. I'm assuming it'll work somewhat like an oral exam where we'll give the lecture, teach the class, and then maybe our professor will ask more thought-probing questions to make sure that we really understand it. And uh, to give you a taste of the material that we're covering, I'm just going to read the course description or the contents of the course real quick. So what we should be covering in this class is path integrals in quantum mechanics and quantum field theory, which we're already pretty into now, uh, perturbative expansion and Feynman rules, quantum electrodynamics, non-abelian gauge theories, the Higgs mechanism, gauge fixing and ghosts, the standard model, loop corrections, and renormalization. So out of all of these topics, it's not all going to be taught by our professor. Some of it will be taught by us. And my professor brought it up today that we need to start thinking about what topic we want to teach, what topic we want to lecture. Someone already called fermionic path integrals. Uh, so I started thinking about it today. What do I want to give the lectures on? And out of all of those topics, I am torn between two so far. The first of which is quantum electrodynamics, or QED. And at least in the notes, it starts off with the Lagrangian for QED in terms of the electromagnetic field strength tensor and the covariant derivative for QED. And then it gets into you know, calculating Feynman diagrams, the helicity, a whole lot of slash notation. I mean, just look at this. I don't really understand it yet, but I will, and I need to before this lecture if that's the topic that I end up choosing. Now, this is way far from where we are right now. I wouldn't be giving this lecture like next week. This would be in around six or so weeks, so over a month and a half from now. Uh, so that'll give me plenty of time to actually get well established with how field theory works to begin with. The second topic that I'm interested in is non-abelian gauge theories. Non-abelian meaning the group members don't necessarily commute with each other. I guess they don't commute with each other. And this would give me the option of talking about the group theory a lot more, which sounds pretty interesting to me. You know, commutators of covariant derivatives, maybe at that point I could have an excuse to talk about maybe the Riemann curvature tensor just for shits and giggles. Now QED is a quantum field theory with the symmetry group U1. U1 is an abelian group, so QED is what we call an abelian gauge theory. An example of one that is not would be like QCD or quantum chromodynamics. Quantum chromodynamics is a field theory with the symmetry group SU3, which is non-abelian, so QCD is non-abelian. From my understanding so far, what makes a quantum field theory a non-abelian gauge theory is if its gauge boson can interact with itself. So in the case of QCD, that would be the gluon. But I am sure that there is much, much more detail to that that I will be uncovering within the next month or so. But out of those topics that I listed that the course will be covering, what would you rather see a lecture on? Let me know in the comments section, and I will see you guys there.